Hello, and welcome to the 121st edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Bruckert, and I'm coming to you live, or semi-live, uh, from Casa de Bruckert, here for quarantine. And today we're gonna to be having an extra special beer, a Belgian beer, and you know how much I love those good Belgian beers. We're, today we're gonna to have the uh, uh, Powell Quack, the Powell Quack, okay? Now, this is a special beer for many reasons. I'm going to tell you about it. First of all, the beer clocks in at 8.4% alcohol by volume. It's rated 86 out of 100, which makes it a very good beer. So I'm quite pleased about this. And you get a special quack glass. And this is an original quack glass that we're going to drink it out of. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this. Now, this beer was our... our glass was specifically designed for this beer to uh, produce the perfect head is what they say that you get on this beer so i'm going to go ahead and pour that and give it a second for it to kind of uh, cascade a little bit as you can see it's cascading as we go there um so i'm a little bit concerned about this beer i need to look at the date here hold on one second here because there's uh, quite a bit of sediment in this beer. Hold on one second here. Well, you know what, let's check it out. It's got, it does have a lot of sediment. I'm concerned with the beer in general, but we're gonna, we're gonna look into this and find out if I've got a beer that um, is expired. Hmm, I don't see it easy date on here. They usually have the date right on the side here. Hmm. Well, we're going to talk about the beer anyway, okay? So the beer is typically an amber color, so the, the color is good. There's just a lot of sediment that's floating in it. Um, I'm going to pull it out of here. Well, actually, I'm not because it comes with this nice handle here. And I'll tell you the purpose of that handle in just a minute. Now, I think this this is uh, beer is still good, even though there is a lot of sediment. Uh, it's probably old, um, but the beer has the proper smell. This beer should have like a an apple, almost like apple pearish smell, which is right on. It has the apple pearish smell. Mm, mm. So it smells good. Uh, I'm going to give it a second for that sediment to settle down. Now, you're also smelling like the Belgian yeast in there, which is good. Um, but while we're waiting on this beer to some of the sediment to, you know, like go down so I can enjoy the beer, um, I'm going to talk about this beer handle, okay? Well, this, this brewery, uh, which is Brewery Bastilles, who also makes Triple Carmelade, if you ever had the Belgian Triple Carmelade, it's the same brewery. Um, but the uh, brewery was founded in 1791, so it's been around for quite a while. And this particular handled glass was designed by Powell Quack in the 19th century for coachmen, people who were drivers, and they couldn't, weren't at that uh, point in time, weren't allowed to leave their vehicles to go into the tavern to get a beer. So they designed this that they could just kind of hang in their uh, vehicles so they could bring out the beer to them. So when they're driving around town, they could be pounding beers. Uh, sounds like a great idea, but anyway, um, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and sample this and we're going to make sure that it hasn't turned or anything like that. Mm. So it has not turned. It's actually very delicious, very light for an 8.4% alcohol by volume. It has a very apple pear maybe even a little bit of caramel in there um flavor so the flavor is spot on i'm gonna have to investigate the amount of sediment that's in this beer because i've had this beer before and i didn't have this kind of sediment so i'm thinking that i might have got a uh, one that had been sitting around for a while and i'm gonna have to investigate that after we get done here i don't want to talk much more about it but there is a light hoppiness but it's so light that you wouldn't even hardly notice it Oh, wow. That's such a unique um, uh, Belgian beer. 
there's you know there's plenty of malt, there's malt in there but there's a real sweetness to this beer that's just uh i don't even know how to explain it it's just i'd say apple pear maybe caramel uh almost like a dessert beer it's it's so uh so sweet and for something that's 8.4 percent alcohol by volume i would say it is is very you can't taste the alcohol in it so um, very beautiful job and very balanced. You know, it's, I would say it's sweeter than most of the beers I drink, um, but something unique and special, I would say. Something that uh, uh, was made for a coachman while he's driving around town. Uh, but anyway, uh, great uh, beer glass. And you can see the design, it has it here. And then along here it says Powell Quack. So it's a really nice glass. I don't use it very often, but it's it's always sitting up on top of my uh, kitchen counter there for when I need it. Um, and I'm always paranoid that it's going to fall, but it can't. I mean, you really, it, it's really hard to get out of here. Now, if you want to get it out of here, you can. You just kind of push it out here. And then if you want to just sit and, you know, drink it like this. And then when you're not drinking it, you just set it back on its base. And it's just perfectly on, on the base. So it's a very well designed concept and a very good beer. Um, so make sure you check out Quack. It's a very good beer. Uh, make sure you check the date, obviously, though, because you don't want it quite as much sediment as what I got there. Um, so make sure you, you check the dates to make sure it hasn't been sitting around for a while. Um, so make sure you, you check out this beer or the Triple Caramel Ale, which they also make, which is a delicious beer. Um, and if you want cool beer issues gear, make sure you go to shop.beerissues.com uh, and, and make sure you tell your friends about beer issues, about all the fun that we're having, drinking beer and talking about beer. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues. <laughs>